Once in a while, we all have to venture into the cesspool that is the spam folder. But I was surprised to find an urgent and confidential business proposal sat there waiting for me. And it said that there was $10 million sitting in a bank account and they needed a foreigner to stand in as next of kin to transfer the money to. And thank my lucky stars, they'd chosen me. Which makes sense, right? I mean, if I needed to split $10 million with someone, I'd probably just whack a random email address in and see if they're interested. And I'll admit, I was thinking it could be spam. But then he went on to say, this is not a spam mail. Phew. The method of achieving the objective of transferring the money abroad is a completely legal and proper way. And it is simple. Well, that's reassuring. All he needed was some basic info from me like my name and fax number, because apparently this email wasn't sent from this century. And then we'd split the money 60-40, because in his words, this transaction is guaranteed to succeed without any problems. So I decided to reply to our good friend Mong, or Maoong, or Mang, wasn't really sure. So I just put, Dear Mango, I was shocked and yet delighted to receive your proposal. $10 million, oh boy. Let me tell you right now, Mango, you have my attention. Slight hiccup in the plan you proposed, though. The ratio of 60% for you and 40% for me. I don't know about you, but I'm a big believer in equality. Let's not beat around the bush here. You need me for this just as much as I need you. Let's split this bad boy 50-50, and then you've got yourself a deal. See? Negotiation, smart. Please let me know urgently if you agree to these terms. Please could you also refer to me from now on under my safe word, Wolfie. Wolfie? Yeah, it's my safe word, baby. It's my safe word. I don't give a fuck about your safe word. As I don't know who may be monitoring our communication, yours sincerely, Wolfie. I very quickly got a reply. Dear Wolfie, I appreciate your swift response to my proposal and I would like to use this opportunity to let you know that this transaction is absolutely legal and legitimate. The total amount involved is about $10 million. It is okay. We will share the funds 50-50. Again, this project is 100% legitimate, genuine and authentic. In fact, he then goes on for quite a few paragraphs telling me how legit this deal is and how I mustn't betray his trust so he's probably not going to like this video much. And how this requires only a mature mind. So I reply with, Dear Dr. Wang Mang, you drive a hard bargain, but I think the deal is now fair for both of us. I accept. Thank you for your assurances. I have never doubted that this transaction is legal and legitimate. That has always been clear. I do have one concern though, my damn fax machine. It got shot back in the war and has never recovered. I know you may laugh and think, who in their right mind doesn't have a working fax machine? It's 2019, goddammit. But sadly, I no longer have a working fax number to give you. I pray this will not affect our deal. Please, tell me there's still hope. Fax free regards, Wolfie. But Mwang being the good guy he is, tells me not to worry about not having a fax number. All he really needs is my name, address and telephone. What a guy. He even says that once he's got that, he'll come meet me in my country and invest his share of the funds with the help of my advice. And I'm thinking, ah, I do know of an up and coming YouTube channel that could do with some investment. So I give him what he wants. Dear Mr. Morang, name, Wolfie Wolferson. I then go to fake address generator, copy and paste the first result and tell him, I am ready for the money. And here's another thing I like about Wang. He sends every email twice. You've got to admire that commitment to the cause. So two more emails come through confirming. I have commenced the possession of the paperwork in your name and as soon as it is completed, I will let you know the next step. And from this point on, you can tell he's excited because he only communicates in full capitals from here on out. But slight issue. Not long later, he responds with, Dear Wolfie, you have to send me your real name as it's compulsory for the possession and completion of the necessary paperwork in your name. Now here's the weird part, completely unprompted, he then sends me his passport and it's expired. So I fire back in all caps myself. Dear Chitty Chitty Mwang Mwang, your passport has expired. How will you come visit me? I'm starting to question if you're as serious about this deal as I am. 
have attached my passport with my real name. I then simply reattach the passport he just sent me. And very quickly, he comes back, twice of course, with Dear Wolfie, you are the one stalling and delaying the quick procession and completion of this deal. Link is not scanning. Regards, Wanglin. And I said, Mango, Bango, scan harder, show some commitment. But then, while I was waiting for him to reply, I noticed a few other opportunities in my inbox. Like this one from Linda, entitled, Donation Money For You. Dear email owner, oof, she has got me pegged. Here's a girl who's done her research. You have been selected to receive a donation from me. I congratulate you, as you have been chosen to receive a donation of £1.8 million. This will help you expand your business and help people in your community. If interested, email now. And I was thinking, well, I mean, I've got 10 million with Mwang. 1.8 is not that great, but it's a nice offer. So I fired back. Wow, Linda, as an email owner for many years, I've been waiting for a long time to receive an email like this. You know what, Linda? If you can round it up to 2 million pounds, I'm in. And she said, thank you so much for responding to my email. Since you have expressed your seriousness, we will need some personal information in order to enable us to process the donation approval certificate. But then she wanted a whole bunch of information. So I said, dear Lindy Lou, thank you so much. I have all of the details ready to send you. However, there are sometimes sneaky little spies who try to contact me via email. I trust you, but I need the following personal information from you first before I can send anything. See, I'm flipping the script. I tell her this is purely for security, so I know you aren't another goddamn spy. As soon as you complete this form, I'll send mine. You show me yours, I show you mine. Deal? And then I just send her the exact set of questions she sent me, but with one important addition. She then replies with some details and perhaps my favourite line of all. I am not sneaky. And I say, Luna, 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 you do realise that's exactly what a sneaky spy would say. It is suspicious, you've got to admit. But then yet another email comes in. I mean, I just can't believe my luck. Greetings. I'm G Sanchez, and it is my wish to donate 24 million USD to you for charity purpose. Send your full name, address, phone number, strictly to this email. I will respond to you with more details. Thank you. Crazy, right? It almost sounds unbelievable, but I knew it was legit because he clearly written this on the notes app on his phone and taken a screenshot, so all checks out. Especially the fact it was sent from someone called Nadia. My only real concern was the asterisk next to USD. It made me worry there was going to be some terms and conditions. But 24 million, can't argue with that. I mean, it makes Linda's offer of 2 mil seem ridiculous when I've got 24 mil sat right here with my boy G Sanchez. So, I tell them straight. My charity is for victims of internet scams, and I've just told them the great news about the $24 million they're getting. They are thrilled. Can you pay via PayPal? Thanks. And I'll admit that at some point you have to question what you're doing with your life when you're replying to these, but these seriously were the exact emails I received and sent, and so it was weirdly fun. In fact, there's a guy who did a TED talk a while back doing something similar. I'm not sure how it's really a TED talk, but it's well worth a watch if you haven't seen it, as he does this all the time, and his argument is that any time he takes away from these people is less time they can spend emailing vulnerable people. But if you're wondering how it all ended up with Juan, Linda, and G Sanchez, the answer is simply, they all sent the money and I'm now a millionaire.